so this is pretty cool, you guys. Uh, article exposing Hindu IT cells mentions Atheist Republic. Wow. So um, we're, part of, we're now part of history, by the way. We're part of India. We're now part of India's history and Malaysia's history. And you, we it. are now forever enshrined in uh, court documents. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Supreme Court, here we come. Um, so this is a really interesting article. Um, so it, and it, as I was reading it, I realized that it ties together many different cases that we've talked about on the channel. And it, it created a, a story and a thread through all of these different stories that I wasn't even like consciously aware of. Um, so this is very interesting. So many of you guys are aware of like how we have been like constantly harassed by um, BJP or like Hindu extremists, uh, mass reporting us, targeting us on like every single platform. Um, and uh, just really going after us. And um, so this follows kind of the history of one Hindu IT cell in particular. And I it made me realize some things that I wasn't aware of. So like in, it begins with, in the summer of 2020, India locked down to slow the speed of uh, co the spread, sorry, to slow the spread of the COVID pandemic. The Nahranda Modi government decided to switch on some nostalgia. It ordered Dordanchan to replay po two popular 1990s TV shows based on the Hindu epics, Mahabharata, Bharata, and the Ramayana. Um, the Minister for In uh, Information and Broadcasting declared the state broadcaster was doing so on popular demand. The replays apparently triggered more than just nostalgia. Um, Ramesh Solanki, 39, a self-proclaimed right-wing activist in Mumbai, claims that they led to a tsunami of social media pages and handles which started abusing Hindu gods and goddesses online. So he and 10 other men decided to come together as concerned Hindu volunteers to protect the gods through the internet, using the force of law in their own style of activism. In May 2020, they announced themselves online as the Hindu IT cell. So um, this really gets into the mindset the ideology and a lot of the various victims who they've trolled um uh with just the really bad harassment hey guys before we get back to that video youtube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct and um, without telling us what we did wrong um if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists, without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below. So one of them is um, Shashmita Sinha. And we covered her story um, a few months ago about when she found or she was talking about like misogynistic a, a misogynistic festival basically in which women it was supposed to celebrate um parvati being accepted by shiva and um to do women are supposed to fast for their husbands or fast so that they'll be able to conceive or if they eat during this, then they'll be turned into various animals. Bad things will happen to them. But the, the gist of it is you're supposed to starve yourself for your husband. And she was talking about how this is misogynistic. She doesn't like this. She thinks this is wrong. And she holds up this little booklet that talks about this festival, which I think is called Tij. And um, she says, like, we don't need this anymore. Like, we don't need practices like this anymore. Like, what if I used this as toilet paper? So obviously that's like, to many, so some people, a very blasphemous thing to say. She didn't use it as toilet paper. She just said, what if? And what proceeded was a um, complete doxing 
of her personal life, of her employer, harassing um, people, contacting people that know her, pressuring them into revealing details about her. Obviously, um, just massive threats of sexual violence, which I have been exposed to. Um, and um, to the fact that she had to like flee and she had to move. And she says that she's still like traumatized by this experience to this day. Um, and so then it continues about how they um, circulated all this clip of her completely out of context. Um, there was like an hour long television debate on what she said, um, a, but only using a 17 second clip that was out of context, not even the full um, thing. And there was all this um, false news and clickbait being spread about her. Um, and um, yeah, quote, the Hindu IT cell volunteers called my friends, forcing him to divulge my address. They told him they wanted to counsel me in person. I felt so threatened by these fringe elements. I left my home in Delhi. Um, and, uh, buh, 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 buh. so the cells campaign against Sushmita was amplified and supported by a national spokesperson of the BJP. She, he called her out on Twitter after which arrest Su Shushmita Singha was trending on Twitter. Um, after that Twitter trend, I my heart sank. I was sure that I would get arrested. I was desolate. Everything that was blown out of proportion. The toxic trolling continued until the cell found its next target on September 7th. Armin Navabi of the Atheist Republic Group, which expresses hey, hey. atheism openly. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Um... Navabi had shared a tweet with a caricature of a Hindu goddess describing her as sexy. Complaints were prop promptly filed against him in a similar pattern. Because this had previously talked about how they pressure police into trying to take legal action against her. Um, Wait, he called her sexy? I you mean, did I... call Kali sexy. What are you talking about? I know. Okay, now I get it. Now I get why they're angry. How dare he? <laughs> you confused me. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yes, you, call you know what I think is so interesting about this, though? I mean, this is a really long article, so just be prepared if you're ready to read it. But it's, it's, good, it's really good because they're kind of linking these stories and see, you can see. But what I think is interesting is they're using a term Hindu phobia. Mm -hmm. So now they've latched on to that kind of mindset. They learn it from as Muslims. They're like, they keep telling us you have your Abrahamic mindset and they keep copying Muslims. They're like, hey, this whole Islamophobia thing has been working well for them. Let's right. copy that. Yeah. We're going to shame people into not saying things. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, and so interesting because they talk about them being gentle and loving mm -hmm. and dude fuzz who are only targeting bad people. And they're saying things like, you know, we don't target people who are good. We target people who are targeting in Hindus, targeting Hindutva, targeting India. It's their fault. We can't help it. If you don't abuse our gods, you won't be trolled. It's as simple as that. You know? Right. It's a complete victim blaming mentality. Exactly. And that somehow they are justified in everything they do because you should know better than to say something, which is very similar, Armin, to the whole Islamic targeting of people mm. saying, you know, well, if anything happens to you, it's your fault because you knew the consequences of doing these horrible things. You knew that these people act this way. Why did right. you do it? Like exactly. That kind of thing. Right. Right. But I think what I was trying to say was that I, I think they have a point because now that I read it, they say that Navobi shared a tweet which said that their Hindu goddess was sexy. I mean, now that I read it, I was like, oh my God, what a major attack on all <laughs> Hindus and an entire culture. Like I wasn't, I was, I didn't realize that until now. Like, I'm glad that it's actually now being read back to me. You just because, came to Shiva? Wait, no, I, no, like guys, let's, let me just, no, I'm just, I'm being serious here. I was, I thought like people are exaggerating that this is an attack. And I was like, why are you guys taking it personally? But now, I called it goddess sexy. Oh my, 
Like, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Like, I now that I read it, I like I so hurtful. I so I'm so I'm so sorry. Okay. Everything I can't stand you. I, I deserve like okay, yes, my Twitter being suspended, it makes it completely makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense, okay? Um, the lawsuits, how, yes, the, F, yes. the FIRs, no FRIs. Yeah. Well, you know no what, FIRs. too? This article actually, for people who were doubting what we were saying when we were saying this is a targeted attack by people who are purposely using IT, social media, all these things, uh, it's true because they're saying it themselves. We're a bunch mm -hmm. of IT people and we are going to go at you through these social media, through, uh, you know, internet, whatever, and we're going to do this to you. So mm -hmm. I, I just want to say that if for those of us who thought we were exaggerating, no, these, you know, Hindu vigilantes are telling us that's exactly what they're doing. And they're proud of it. Yeah. They also they also try to distance themselves from the fallout that happens to these people real lives by saying what Ripka said earlier, which is like, well, if they didn't do this, then it wouldn't be like this, you know. Like they they have this article is very interesting because it talks about the structure of these IT cells too, and how they like purposefully distance themselves from certain level of like going <clears throat> after people legally. Hmm. And a lot of the ways that they try to go after people legally aren't successful. But the end result is that they're trying to terrorize people into silence. Right. All right. So just a few things. Uh, God is Katie saying they literally got it from Islamophobia. Yes, mm -hmm. they got the copy the idea again. Um, Hindutva people check it. Uh, Abrahamic mindset. You keep telling us we are thinking about everything in our Abrahamic mindset. Yes, you guys have Abrahamic mindset. And um, by the way, I've been studying the history of Hinduism lately, and they. If everything about modern Hinduism, there more and more things have come from Islam that I'm realizing. Like they have no idea Hindutva today. They have no idea how much their mindset is Abrahamic, and they keep accusing us. Of Thanks, having... Muggles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's so amazing that even the entire Bhakti movement could be a response to Islam. But yeah, let's. Uh, hold on, let you know see. what, Susanna? He ah, even... no, 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 no. Let me finish. Uh, Bipub saying Hindutva is a cheap copy of radical Islam. Um, yeah, so that there's that. Um, but I do also want to um, say sh check something, okay? Uh, because I called their God. I, I I last night I received the latest art, the final version of our free of our art, of our blasphemous art. And usually we don't show this to you guys because we're only sending it to our newsletter subscribers. But today I want to check, take a look just to confirm whether or not Hindu goddesses are sexy. So I'm going to oh, do no. this today. Okay, so this is Parvati uh, and Muhammad. And this is our latest art that we just finished, which our newsletter subscribers get for free every week. Uh, we have new art every week and we send it out to new newsletter subscribers every week. And our patrons get the nude version of this, by the way. And I have to say, just because I know I was being hurtful to Hindus, this is not sexy at all. I mean, look at Parvati. She's not sexy at all here. She's not. I mean, I, I, no, wait a minute. I can't, I can't say that. She's sexy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. She's like, your goddesses are sexy. What do you want me to say? Look at her. Look at her. I mean, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They don't, they didn't used to be sexy. We made them sexy. Now they're sexy. Okay. We improved Hinduism. We came to it. We looked at Hinduism. We took, we took a look and we we're like, there's some major improvements that could be made here. Okay. And we take your moms and we made your moms sexy. Oh, and no. now we expect thank yous. We expect thank yous. In the, anybody from India watching, I want you, every single one of you from India, to say thank you, Atheist Republic, for improving our culture and making our moms sexy. We have now, we now have sexy mamas, and we love them. Thank you so much. Okay, get, get, Namaste, so, Atheist yes. Republic. <laughs> All right. I wanted to point out, like what Susanna was saying. This guy from this IT, you know, vigilante group. 
um, he says this, you know, he says, we condemn trolling, but these people play the victim card. Um, he was speaking about another case where this woman was targeted. That's she hilarious was, coming from them. about playing She was the very, very well aware of what she was doing. But despite that, she went ahead and played the victim in politics. So it's exactly what we're saying. She knew she was doing this. And so the whatever consequences are her fault. I'm not getting any thank yous from India in the live chat, so I'm angry. You know Guys, what, though? <laughs> India was, their gods and goddesses were pretty, pretty, you know, sexual. You, you, you made a nice and modern sexy. We did. But, I mean, there's temples with, you know, coitus and all kinds of things. So I think the real issue that people have is it's a modern sexy, not old sexy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. If you guys, guys want again, to see the nude you... version of the uh, Love Jihad Kama Sutra, make sure to check out our Patreon. That's what I was going to say. Guys, if you want to get all our art, we have new art every week. Subscribe to our newsletter um, in the, and you get it for free, for free. But the patrons who are supporting us financially, they get the nude version. So check that, check that as well. That is really good. Um, I was going to say something else. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Well, this article, by the way, for people who are not in India, like most people from India, they know, no, most people with an internet access in India uh, know about this Hindu IT cell stuff. But if, you, if you're not familiar with this, this is like a major thing. It's a major movement in online India activism. Uh, and if you want a full on summary about this, like going against, like taking, they are, this movement has been very successful at taking down accounts that just criticizes Hinduism. It's been very, very, um, and with no. Or you know, just nationalism in general. And they, they worked yeah. with government yeah. agencies. Yeah, so if you do want to know about this, this is a very good article, which I, we have a link to it in the description. Uh, wait, we got I got somebody. But I want to point out that the guy who founded the Hindu IT cell is blue check mark verified on both yeah. Twitter and Instagram. And they brag about taking accounts down publicly, and Twitter doesn't do anything about it. Even though, like, you're not violating any of the Twitter community standards or Facebook community standards, they manage to take down accounts just for like criticizing their ideas. And even though this has been highlighted so much, Twitter still has, is not doing anything about it. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, um, so guys, I really recommend you guys read this article called Inside the Hindu IT Cell, The Men Who Went Online to Protect Gods by News Laundry. I learned a lot. And it was inspired because um, some of the writers, the authors have been targeted by Hindu IT cells themselves. Earlier when we were talking about some things uh, with regard to India, I can't remember what, but Katie pointed out the idea of, you know, you, you're you expected to fight for Dharma. And they even say this in the article. They talk about, you know, do it for Dharma. And, um, it, you know, that they're, they're, that's one of their statements is that they're, it's about nationalism and Dharma. You know, and so they're doing this for the Dharma. And so if you're a really good Hindu, then right. you want to do it for the Dharma too. And I know that Katie had brought that up in another discussion about, you know, what motivation people or why somebody would, you know, act in a certain way. And some of it is this similar to like what you were talking about with uh, Islam that, you know, if you're a good Hindu, then you'll do this. If you're a good Muslim, then you will, you know, be against, you know, this, or you'll call out blasphemy. So it's very, very similar. And I think it's also interesting in the last part of the article, they talk about freedom of expression, but then he says, but there's a limit. If I slap you, is that freedom of expression? So they're trying to conflate. <laughs> he word. doesn't understand anything. That's assault, right. bro. That's assault. Right. It's but battery. Your actually, hurt sentiments yeah. are not yeah. battery. Yeah. And they talk about playing the victim card. <laughs> oh, exactly. My. You know, and that's what's so interesting to me is that they're just conflating someone's words with actual physical violence and just saying something is enough for them to consider that you've you know you've injured them physically um wait so 
we I just wanted to read this. This is very nice. Pirate of the Arabian saying, thank you from India, Atheist Republic. And then he or she continues, as an Indian ex-Hindu atheist, I enjoy your art. I am awaiting more of such art. Thank you. Um, yeah, th that's, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Oh, uh, please do make art of uh, reverse love jaw too. It is not just Hindus. Even Muslims need to be. We did that. We did the... Uh, we did one with Kalia Muhammad, the reverse version of it. But we'll do more. We'll do, yes, for sure. Uh, you want to read this one? Um, Katie is saying, one of the comedians arrested alongside Munawar Farooqi, who's a um, comedian who we've covered a lot, what he went through in India for getting arrested and did not bailed out for months over a joke he never made. Um, quit being a comedian and now lives on a menial labor wage after what he went through. Yeah, and it's really messed one. up. And they talk about a Munawar Faruqi in this article as well. Um, Katie's also saying, saying, fighting for Dharma is the most righteous thing for Hindu warriors, according to Krishna in the Gita. Um, Krishna is considered the per supreme lord in Vaishnava scriptures. Oh, I do want to address this. Uh, Paris uh, is saying, I am already subscribed, but I do not have money for now so i cannot support you monetarily i will do okay i will then you saying i will do once i have enough sorry um please do not be sorry and please do not uh, support us financially anybody who is supporting us financially even if they're struggling even a little bit stop it stop your financial support um please 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 why are you sorry you're sorry for not supporting us financially because you're not you don't have enough money. You should be sorry if you were supporting us financially even though you're struggling financially. Guys, do not support us. Do not support any content creator if you're struggling financially. Support yourself. God damn it. In fact, even when you're when you have more money, even then don't support us financially. Get to a position where you're completely financially secure mm -hmm. before you think about other people. Okay, please do not support us. Um, and I can tell you that, yes, you're missing out on the nude art, but uh, because because you're not a patron, but I trust me, the the ones that we're sending for free to our newsletter subscribers, they're still pretty good. They're still pretty good, okay? <laughs> they're, so they're very, very sexy and they're free. You do not need to support us financially to get the free version. And it's you saw, it, I showed you, just, just show you. It was pretty good, okay? Um, I'm okay, of cool. the opinion that the non-nude ones are actually a little bit sexier because it hey. leaves stuff to the imagination. So that's my yeah. opinion. <laughs> but, hey, you know, hey. I come from a different generation, <laughs> you guys. You're going to lose us patrons, Srifka. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Kali, you know, like me, and that means that you probably want more blasphemous art. Well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email. And you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up. Link below.